all right, so we're going to build a computer. And that's what we do because we're a computer channel. So, yeah. So everybody's quarantined, stuck at home, whatever, and bored out your mind. Now, me, I do enjoy occasional first-person shooter every now and then, and if you watched one of my other videos, which I'll put a link somewhere around here, I talked about free games that you can play while stuck in quarantine. So one of the games you can play is Call of Duty Warzone. It is free through Battle.net. Get on, download it, and you can play that game. So let's take a look at the minimum specs and let's see if we can build a computer cheap and budget enough so we can play this game. So looking at it, uh, Windows 7, Windows 10, which, okay, yeah, we could get that for free. Those are free copies. We've talked about that. Intel Core i3, 4340 or FX6300, got it. 8 gigs of RAM, 175 gigs of hard drive space. Jeez, that hurts. Um, video card, GTX 670, 1650, 7950, DirectX 12, internet, and sound card. So we're going to need these things to be able to play this game. So surfing the eBay, we got them. So first thing we're going to start off is our graphics card, R9 380, all right, 4 gigs. Of RAM, that should be more than enough. We got eight gigs of DDR3 memory over here, and we'll talk about these prices in a minute. i5 3470 and a gigabyte GA H61M. All right, it's about as budget as we go. Solid state hard drive, a cheap power supply, and also to throw this into the budget, a Wi Fi card or Wi Fi card. So I figured we'd throw that into the budget because, I mean, either you're going to have to play hardline or play at Wi-Fi, so why not throw that in there? And um, we're going to be using this cooler. I think I've done a video at it. I don't know if it's out by now, but we're going to use this cooler because my stock Intel one just didn't work and need something a little better. So, all right. So we have this, and let's talk about the price and the budget. A solid state, 120 gig. It's one of those inland professionals. I took the sticker off for another project I was doing. These are tw these were 20 bucks when I bought. It. They're about 25 now, so I'm gonna stick to 20 because you can still get them on eBay for about 20 dollars. This motherboard, 20 dollars. CPU, 10 dollars. Um, I found a seller and I gave him buy it. He had to uh, make an offer. I made him offer of 10 bucks. He agreed. So we're up to 20, 30, 50 dollars right there. All right, memory. I got 10 bucks for this memory DDR3. All this bought on eBay. And then we're up to our graphics card, which we pay 40. So let's tie this up so far, 20, 30, 40, 60, 100 dollars. And we got what we need right there. So now we also need a power supply. Found this, 80 bronze, some Game Max RGB, which don't really matter for the case we're using. 20 dollars. So up to 120. Um, this hard drive actually came with this case that we're gonna use. Uh, got this case like for ten dollars right over here um nothing too fancy just typical case uh it came with the hard drive and actually came with the um, dvd player so it was like ten dollars for this case and i think the shipping was like ten dollars but i'm not gonna include the shipping so we're not gonna worry about that and then a wi-fi card trend nets okay paid uh, N600, paid $10 for this. So roughly we're at about $150 for this computer, a complete computer ready to go. Um, one of the reasons why I bought this case right over here is because it came with a 500 gig mechanical hard drive. Uh, we've talked about this before. Solid state is a great way to speed up your computers, boot off this, make this your boot drive, make this your game drive. You should have no issues over it. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put this computer together and we're gonna see if we can play some Call of Duty uh, Warzone for $150. So let's get to it.
All right, so computer's built, so let's go ahead and get into some gameplay of Call of Duty Warzone. Now, if you download uh, the Blizzard Battle.net, you can download Call of, uh, Call of Duty uh, Warzone. It's free and it's able to play. So let's get some gameplay going over here and let's get this thing loaded. All right, so we're in a game, we're playing the Call of Duty. And so far it's running real smooth. We're running at a 720p settings just so I could get the best frames and more consistent out of it. Um, earlier I was trying this out and I was able actually to get uh, 1080p going on low to medium settings, which actually looked pretty good, but some of my frames kind of tanked a little bit. Um, wasn't too bad. I was able to keep a consistent 30, but I want to keep this more towards 60. Um, we're running at 93 to 100 frames per second. Uh, usually if I get into a more battle royale scene, um, I'm able to keep it at 720p close to the 50 to 60, but overall it's actually a pretty good uh, experience on it. So if we take a look over here, we can see that our GPU and CPU are at 100% usage. The temperatures are not too bad. I'm at 60 frames per second, so overall not too bad. All right, so we're jumping out of the plane. Um, I really haven't played this game much, so I don't know too much about it. But from what I gather, it's pretty fun to play so far. I enjoy it. I've always enjoyed the Call of Duty series, so let's go ahead and see if we can find some people to shoot. Maybe. I don't know. Where's everybody at? So I'll watch the map. See if anybody's out and around. Okay, nobody's here. I guess everybody hides pretty well. Uh, where's everybody at? Oh, I see some red dots over here. Let's find the red dots. I either want people to come get me or I come get them. So Okay, so one critic that I gotta give about this game, even though it's free, I guess because everybody's at home trying to play it, it takes forever just to get into a game. I mean, uh, my internet's pretty decent, but I mean, the servers fill up really quick and then you just gotta wait. So that's the only downside about it. But as far as the computer goes, uh, the gaming experience is actually very smooth on this. So I'm very happy with it. Um, achieved what we want to achieve, a great budget computer. So I'm gonna play this game for a little bit as it loads up another mission for me to do. And um, we'll talk about this computer. Just to recap, we got an R9 380, four gigs of RAM, eight gigs of DDR3, an i5-3470 clocked at 3.2 gigahertz, 500 gig mechanical Western digital hard drive, 120 gig solid state hard drive. We're even able to get a Wi-Fi card because I figured that must be a must because not everybody wants to run all these ethernet cables and some people just like to play, uh, just like to use the Wi-Fi because it's just more convenient. Um, the case, she's not much to look at. Yep, she's not much to look at at all but it holds the computer and we're able to play it. I was able to get this GameMax 600 watt RGB power supply, which, I mean, if we can get that right in there, it's pretty, you won't see it because actually this case has a cover, but I paid $20 for this power supply. And I think overall that is a great uh, bargain. Uh, we got our cooling fans, computer runs nice and cool. My temperatures never creeped any higher than 50 to 60 degrees, 50 to 60 degrees with the um, front panel on. So overall, not too bad. Uh, mouse and keyboard, you could get them cheap. I mean, I got these over here for like, um, mouse and a keyboard. I got these for like $5 on eBay. And I just bought this just to put with it, but I decided to use the setup that I have already for it. So um, for $150, you can build a good, decent computer to play uh, gaming. It's cheaper than a console, um, runs a lot better. You have more gaming options as far as that. And then you also have the upgradability path. If you want, later on, you could pop in the i7. You could change it to 16 gigs of DDR. Uh, this power supply allows us to put a beefier graphics card. So if you want to run a 570 in there, so little by little, you can actually order your parts, get them, and make this computer maxed out and run a lot better than what it's running now. So for $150, we got all our parts on eBay delivered to us. We still kept the whole social distancing. Didn't have to leave the house. All the parts came to me. I made sure that when I got the parts, I Lysoled and disinfected the box and the parts just as a precaution. Just got to be safe, protect the family, friends, all that good stuff. And I didn't, like I said, I was able to get all these parts pretty decent on eBay. So comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, like if you like the video. And um, if you like this game, if you like this computer, go ahead and build it. And maybe you could build something better. $150 was my budget because I just wanted something to be a little more versatile. But if you increase the budget, maybe to $300, I'm sure you could get something a lot better. So thanks for watching. And we'll see what we come up with next.